This is Twit. Getting back to the action, we are speaking with Vijay Balasubramanian of Pindrop Security. He's their CEO and founder. Cool Breeze has just looked up your website after watching that video, and he is he is kind of blown away by that whole acoustic signature technology that you have. Uh, we, we glossed over it very quickly in the video, but in a nutshell, what you can do is you can listen to certain audio clues that we wouldn't, as humans, we just wouldn't listen to, that will tell you if something is VoIP, if you hear packets being switched off uh, you know, between between networks, like for example, when the when the system detects that they've got a live person and and now they can tr attempt to to defraud them, uh, that's that's something that's unique to Pindrop, right? Can can you tell us a little bit more about how that system works? Absolutely. So uh, you know, uh, in fact, that entire uh, all these features together are called what are known as phone printing, and we're the only ones with patents for it. So we've built patents around uh, this entire concept of phone printing, and we talked about one example, right? Call goes over a uh, voice over IP network. We're doing this entire, uh, you know, uh, uh, podcast on 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 a uh, voice over IP system, Skype. So there is going to be packet losses, and those packet loss manifest themselves as tiny breaks in the call audio. So that's one example of a feature. Another example of a feature is as a lot of networks moved from analog to digital, what happened is in analog systems, you had ambient noise in the system. So when you were talking to someone over the phone, uh, even if they were not speaking, you'd hear a faint kind of sound, which allowed you to know that that person on the other end you know, was still on the call. When you went completely digital, what would happen is that would get replaced but with pure silence. So you'd think the person on the other end hung up. Uh, and so what these devices started doing is introducing comfort noise just to make you comfortable that there's someone on the other end. And that comfort noise is algorithmically generated as opposed to being random. And that has a pattern. So the way your iPhone introduces comfort noise as opposed to the way a Android phone introduces comfort noise as opposed to the way BlackBerry introduces comfort noise is very, very different. That becomes another signature. So there are a variety of such signatures that are present within the call. We look at 147 such artifacts to build out the complete signature and are therefore able to identify the device, what geography is that call coming from, and what type of device is behind that particular call. Wait, let's back up just a second there, because you said something that just absolutely amazed me. Depending on what type of voice uh, of device you're using, iPhone, Android, Windows Phone, BlackBerry, how it introduces that noise, you can actually audio print what device people are using? Absolutely. And that's the, <laughs> that's the thing, right? One of the things that we detect very often is here's this person who's calling from, from a phone number. It's a AT&T cell phone in Atlanta, but the audio characteristics tell us it's actually a Skype laptop calling in from Nigeria. So something is very, very wrong with that call. It's most likely that that fraudster is spoofing that phone number and trying to take over the account. Wow, that's that's actually amazing. <laughs> I, I really want to see that go. Uh, Chibert, I, I did not know that. I, I had no idea that you could actually catalog, catalog what devices are calling your network just by listening to that silence. Uh, have, have you seen this tech at all before? No, no, not really. <laughs> No, but the uh, uh, comfort noise has been around for a very long time. Uh, when we did a voice over IP shootout for InfoWorld, God, maybe a decade ago, um, that's one of the things that they brought up during the briefings is digital calls are too silent. And comfort right. noise has to be introduced. And what VJ is saying is absolutely true. Um, it's just a matter of how you analyze it and pull those signatures out. And it sounds like Pindrop's really done a good job on that. Uh, Curtis, uh, Curtis, let me let me throw this over to you really quickly because uh, you know uh, what we're hearing about the 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 uh, ability to phone print certain calls and the ability to find out when automated systems are being used because that could be a precursor to fraud. Uh, this all sounds like something that every every enterprise that implements a call center needs to do, uh, and yet I I don't think they do. Um, uh, what? What would be your take? If you were trying to speak to a CTO or CEO, a CFO, and explain why they need to include this along with the, the bill of materials for any new uh, uh, call center, what, how would you try to explain it to them? Well, I think the, the big way you explain it is to go back to the words of um, 
a recent government official who who told the world, you know what, you're going to have to deal with attackers. You you just have to assume that they're going to be there. And with that, you have to look at ways to know when they have hit your border and, and sometimes even know when they've made it through. This is a valuable tool in that direction. I mean, it's not a question of whether people are going to use any given method, any given attack vector to try to reach you. They are. And so in the same way that we now accept the need for firewalls, we accept the need for IPS, IDS, we accept the need for, for all kinds of things, it's time to add this to the list of things that we simply accept as a necessary part of the cost of doing business. Uh, why do we do that? Because, to be brutally honest, the cost of failure is just so darned high. 